got the idea. Our next lesson is going to be uh, on foods and drinks in the Kwapa language. And the first one and the most important one that we'll start with is water. Water. And that word for water is ni. Ni. Now, that's a pretty simple word, isn't it? So, I hope you can remember that one well. Ni. Because we'll put it together with different words later on where it has a different meaning. So, but just remember, ni is water. And I mentioned this to you before, but coffee, the word for coffee, is the same word that we had, or that we talked about, that meant medicine. Ma con shrong. Ma con shrong. Here again, you're going to have that nasal sound. Shrong. The nasal sound. Shrong. Ma con shrong. And think about that because it's, it's three syllables. Ma con shrong. And that means coffee. It also means medicine. Ma con shrong. Also means medicine. And there's another word that's closely related to that, and that is tea. Tea and coffee, <clears throat> probably our favorite drinks, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and they're very similar. When you say tea, you say ma conchon ni. Ma conchon ni. We'll go on to the next word which is another very important word because uh, when you were a baby, you, you had to drink a lot of it. And that is milk, milk. And our word for milk is mazinni, 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 mazinni. And that word's a little bit different because it starts with the uh, ma sound and then the middle syllable, z, zin, zin, z, starts with a z, zin, and then e, mazinni, mazinni, meaning milk. Now you're going to put that word with another word later on, so remember it and practice it well. Corn, or the corn, uh, oftentimes will. Uh, make a drink out of the corn or we'll boil it and make a soup and uh, uh, add water to it and sometimes even you could put it in a cup and drink it or make it a, a thin broth and we call that broth or that soup or that corn drink washrogada washrogada now we're getting a little more complicated. We've got four syllables in this word. Wa, shrug, ga, da. Wa, shrug, ga, da. Wa, shrug, ga, da. And so you say it uh, a little bit faster and run those together and pronounce the word wa, shrug, da. Wa, shrug, da. Washragada. Washragada. And you, if you space them out too far and pronounce each one separately, it doesn't say the right word. If you said wa, shrug, ga, da, it doesn't say anything. You have to make them flow together and say washragada. Washragada. And somebody might ask you, what was that corn drink that we had? And the corn drink that you might have added sugar to, uh, sweetened it a little bit, is called washragada, washragada. And if you made a soup out of it, you might add a little salt to it and change the flavor of it, but it would still be washragada, washragada. The next word is bread, waske, 
waste. Waste. Pronounce it very carefully. Waste. Two syllables. Waste. Waste. Bread. Indians are very fond of our own fry bread. We call it fry bread. And that's bread that's uh, fried in deep fat and uh, kind of like a donut, only it's not sweet. It's just a, a bread texture. And, uh, and this is kind of a fun word and I think all of my students really enjoy saying this word because it's kind of a uh, uh, tongue tangler, I'll call it. And it's called waske gadogado. Waske gadogado. So you see, it is kind of a fun word. Waske is bread. Gado, gado, two, two gados uh, means thick or ropey or um, uh, let's say uh, uh, kind of a, not a runny texture, but a thick texture. And so uh, what that means is that the bread is cooked in the fat, uh, deep fat. And that is the gadogado part. So waske gadogado, waske gadogado. The next word, Washranga uh, skide, which means sweet. It could mean cake, it could mean um, sugar, it could mean candy, or any kind of sweet. Washranga skide, washranga skide, washranga skide. Now, the next word, which is also related to that, is crackers, crackers. The word for crackers is waske skide. Waske skide. Waske skide. Okay, now you can break that one down a little bit too. Waske is bread. Skide is grainy. Skide means grainy like salt. So you have bread with salt on it. So crackers is bread with salt. So waske skide, waske skide. Butter, and remember the word that we had for milk? Well, it's coming back again. So this word now is gonna be milk grease when I translate it for you, milk grease. And we'll say that word Mazinni Wegaji. Mazinni is milk. Wegaji is grease. So the word for butter is Mazinni Wegaji. Wegaji. And that is the word for grease, which you could call um, a long time ago they used uh, fat, uh, lard. Uh, uh, any kind of fat that uh, you might uh, render fat from uh, meat and that sort of thing, and that was called wegaji. Wegaji. It's the grease part, the fat part, or the grease. Wegaji. Wegaji. Three syllable word. Wegaji. So the next word and I mentioned part of this to you before um, when we talked about crackers, is gonna be salt. Salt was very important to us because it was hard to get, hard to find. So salt flavored the food. Ni skide, ni skide. Salt, ni skide, ni skide, ni skide. So you recognize the first a syllable, ni, water. Skide is the grainy part. So salt comes from the water, comes from water. Ni skide, ni skide. That's how they found salt, 
was they boiled water down and they made salt. The next word is pepper. Pepper is a very, very hard word to pronounce and it almost defeats people sometimes. Uh, but it's challenging also. And it's a big, long word to say when you put the two together, salt and pepper. Niskire and pepper. Haji siyanka. Haji siyanka. That, the word for pepper. Five syllables. Ha, ji, si, an, ka. Ha, ji, si, an, ka. Ha, ji, si, an, ka. Pepper. That's a pretty long word just to say pepper. Next word and a very important one because this was one of our, our foods that we would raise and grow. Uh, beans. Beans. The word for beans, obanike. 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 That's kind of a fun word too, I think. Um, obanike. Obanike. So you run the first two syllables together, oba, and the last two together, nike. Obanike. Obanike. Now, we got a real tongue twister. The next one is black-eyed peas. Black-eyed peas. This is a really a fun word, and a lot of people, they, they really work hard at learning this one because they like to say it. It says, uh, uh, as you can imagine, black eyes and beans put together, obaniga in stakashra. Obaniga in stakashra. Insta, remember? Ah. Obaninga, beans, insta. Shra, shra actually says uh, black. And we, we put a little R in the R sound in that, but when you say the color black by itself, you just say sha, sha. But in this case, we add an R to it and give it an R, kind of a rolling R sound. In stakashra. Obanige in stakashra. Obanige in stakashra. Obanige in stakashra. Black eyed peas. The next one, and this is another important uh, food uh, to Indians, all Indians, I think. Uh, this is our basic food, and that's corn. Corn. Wataji. 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 The next food is a very important one also. Potatoes. Potatoes. We all like potatoes. Fried, boiled, baked, and almost any way you cook it, we like it. So potatoes has a very simple name. Tu. Tu. And it's an explosive sound. Do, do. It's not too. It's not a soft too sound. It's a explosive uh sound. Too, too. So when you're talking about potatoes, too, too. Now this is a this is this next one. It could mean apple. It could mean orange. It could mean pear, it could mean uh, grapes, it could mean any kind of fruit. And it's called gongte. 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 It has a little nasal sound there in the beginning. Gongte. Gongte. Now that is the word for fruit. Next word, onions. 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 Majanke is a word for onions. Majanke. 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 
my junkie. And then the word for flour, because we use flour to make the bread, pejikida. Pejikida. So you've got three syllables there. Pejik, this middle syllable uh, with a Z sound, jik. J, and the last syllable has a blend in the very beginning of it. KD is a blend sound. Gada. Gada. Two letters run together. Gada. Papas are fond of, of using uh, blends like that and run two letters to, together oftentimes in the words. Gada. Peji um, gada. You're building a very good vocabulary because these are important words for you. If you sat down at the table for dinner and had dinner with your family, practice these words. Practice the words with your father and your mother and your sisters and brothers and whoever is sitting at the table with you. And you'll have a lot of fun doing that because it is a fun thing. Learn those words and practice them and practice them over and over. Memorize them until they become yours. Thank you.